Well, the sun is so bright that I can't see what's going on on the camera, but this is uh, an introduction to one of two videos of exploration. So the first video is exploring the inside circuitry of a little uh, temperature controlled soldering iron. And I think if I remember back, uh, there is a video of uh, me looking at it before. It was the actual iron itself that was not working. And, uh, but the base unit, which can control the, well, voltage, temperature, um, is calibrated in degree C. It's controlling the power into the iron. And that part was functioning okay, as far as I remember. Anyway, look inside the iron and we will see the component that one of the people who's commented on my Facebook video, um, the, the value of the transistor that he was looking to replace. So that's uh, the video that's coming up now. Let's investigate the soldering iron and find out what the transistor is. I've just had a question about the transistor in this uh, temperature controlled soldering iron. Um, can't remember exactly what I found last time. Uh, what I do know is that I've cut the iron off. It looks like it was wired in with mains cable, doesn't it? The soldering iron itself. Three core mains cable. And then the supply into here, I think is... Um, uh, it's got this double insulated. Has it got a symbol for double insulated on it? Can't see it there. I'm just looking to see if there's three cores into it. There might well be an earth into it, with it being a metal tip. Anyway, let's have a look inside. I'd have to look back at my previous video, but I think the reason I kept this bit is because the actual... Uh, it's marked in degree C, um, but I'm not sure that there's any feedback from the... Oh, that's the mains in. So it is uh, three core. It does have an earth in. Um, but the, the out is from there and there. Your output is from there and there. Uh, a switch in line with it, switch it off and on. So mains in, into switch, in, from the switch into the circuit. But when the switch is on, there's a wire there. Usually it switches between there and there. That's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, and then the output from there and there. So it's uh, switching the output in some way. Oh, well, it's got... No, it's, it might be just the fact it's an illuminated switch. That might be what the other terminal is on the switch. Something to give it uh, like a mains neon to tell you when the switch is on. Right, let's not worry about that so much, uh, but I've had a question about what the transistor is that's on it. Let's have a go at finding that. So I've undone the uh, nut on the variable control there. And so there's the transistor, and I'll do a still photo of that, which gives some numbers, which may help that person to replace the transistor. Okay, and I think the reason I kept this is because it's a safe and enclosed variable um, power voltage device. Uh, I can't remember what the voltage is that comes out of it, but I can always put a meter onto it again and measure. So it does seem as though the uh, earth wire is earth, the brown and blue are the uh, controlled voltage 
It's a simple control circuit and kept just because it's uh, securely in a nice box, ready with a mains plug if you needed a uh, variable control of some sort. Uh, it's got a little circuit there, so it could be that it's similar to a switch mode, very simple switch mode type controller and uh, you know I'm not going to try you can tell me yourselves what you think 500k potentiometer there a couple of capacitors there and at this side four capacitors there a couple of resistors and is that going to be a rectifier the yellow block I am just looking at it now. Uh, uh, can't see much. Oh, what's it say on the printer board? On the board, L is alongside that one. CY is going to be that capacitor. CY1. Oh, so nothing written alongside. No, it's a 33 microfarad, 275 volt AC capacitor. Okay, so a large electrolytic. So the yellow thing is a large electrolytic capacitor. So small inductor, electrolytic capacitor, a couple, four more capacitors, a trimming pot there, and a single transistor. BT one. 37-800 that might give it all away uh, and that's called D2 if there's a D2 it suggests there's a D1 uh, VS1 is that that little device down there the, the blue device there alongside the green capacitor that uh, might be a Zener sort of diode to give you a voltage at that point but if that's D2 this three pin uh, can't remember what they call that outline container then you'd think there would be a deep, another one, D1 somewhere. Anyway, can't see it. So, but I've got the numbers. Interesting. But these circuits, I mean, you know, voltage control circuits, power control circuits are available, uh, ready, made and tested from China at very low cost. So whether you... I mean, if you can find the transistor, but it might be that what you're paying for that device there is more than you can get the complete circuit for from um, AliExpress or whatever source you use to get these circuits from. Uh, so do think carefully before trying to source that and replacing it, because I found that it can be quite expensive to get the individual components. Hope that's helpful for people wanting to see a little bit more about what the circuit has got. And I'm sorry, I'm not more knowledgeable and haven't been bothered to trace the circuit through. It is a very simple circuit. Uh, and if you've got some electronics knowledge, you can pull it apart yourself and do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. The nearest I would get would be to buy a complete brand new soldering iron, if that's what you're uh, looking at this for. Or um, at least a ready-made circuit board that does this job. And this water running here tells me that the sun is shining on the little solar panel.